Hi boys and girls, welcome back. For this session, we are going to play a game called Presto Changeo. I would like you to grab your whiteboard and your dry erase marker. And if you don't have a whiteboard, you can grab a piece of paper and a pencil. And let's go ahead and get started. All right, boys and girls, so here we have the word will. Can you go ahead and uh, write this word down on your board or your paper? I'm going to go ahead and give you a second to do that. W-I-L-L. -L. Will. Now we are going to press the change-o. I want you to now change the sound of will to thrilling. Can you go ahead and do that? Can you write the word thrilling? Yes, so you're gonna go ahead and cross out the beginning sound and we're gonna go ahead and add that trigraph. And then we're gonna add ill. And then the ing, we all know that. Thrilling, thrilling, good. Okay, let's try one more. Let's go ahead and write the word mail like the mail you get from the post office, mail. And now we are going to presto changeo. I want you to now change the word mail to pails, pails, like the buckets that you take to the beach, right? Lots of buckets, pails. All right, I'm gonna give you a second. How can you change this word? to pale. That's right. You're going to change the beginning sound. We hear the p. The p. I'm going to go ahead and add ale. And we're missing that ending sound. S. P. Ales. Ales. Pales. Great. Isn't it cool, boys and girls, that one word you know can help you write and spell another word. And it's not just writing. This also works for reading too. You get to read new words. All right, boys and girls, I have another game we can play. I'm gonna go ahead and put some easy words on the board. So here we have this word, down. I bet you guys know this word. Or it's been a sight word since kindergarten. And I know you guys know this word. Yes, car. Awesome. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to add a new word to our chart. And I want you to think about which one of these words can help you read the new word. So here is the new word. I want you to take some time. Which one of these words can help you read this word? That's right, friends. You guys got it. I think you guys see a nice pattern here, right? Same parts, the O-W, down. So I want you guys to sound it out with me. We have ow, growl. Awesome. Okay, let's try another one. What about this word? Are you guys thinking car? Yeah, I'm thinking car. We see that A R. So R sp arc. Spark. Good. Let's try one more. What about this word? Oh, I think this is easy. Yeah. Or we see the O R. Or. So m orn ing morning. Guys are rocking it. Now I wonder, boys and girls, if these words here can help us read some words in our book, Max and Zoe, The Lunchroom Fight. Let's go ahead and read a little bit um, to see if we can solve any tricky words in the book. Max was just, oh, there's a tricky word here. Okay, my friends, which one of these words can help us solve this word here? Did you guys say car? Because you, you hear that R sound? Okay, let's give it a try. 
starting, starting. Max was just starting to eat when Zoe sat down. Yeah, it looks right, it sounds right, and it makes sense. Um, Max, Zoe said, please leave. Anna picked me today. No, she picked me, said Max. Zoe looked at Anna and asked, you did? Anna said, uh, well, see Max, said Zoe, go away. No, Max argued and, and another tricky word, boys and girls. Okay, which one of these words can help us solve this tricky word? Car? No, I don't see any patterns here. What about four? No. What about down? Brow? Do we see the OW? Yes. So down, growl, found, found. No, Max argued and frowned. That's right. So readers, when you're reading today, I want you to think about this strategy. When you're trying to solve a tricky word, think about a word that you already know that can help you solve a word you don't know. This is a very powerful tool and it will really help you read and spell. Now, when you go off to read, you may read a book in hand or you may go on Get Epic and you want to make sure that you're using a whiteboard or paper to write down all these tricky words and the words that you know within those words so that your, your teacher can see all the hard work you're doing to help you solve these tricky words. I hope you all enjoyed the video. I'll see you next time.